Hey, hello everyone, this is Rick. I was working on a Silver Surfer number one recently. This is a little bit different book because it's a it's a square bound. Uh, spine's a little bit difficulty there in the, in the pressing anyway, but this book had a lot of foxing on it. Here's what the book looks like to start. But you have to be careful because this book has a lot of red on it and you don't. I don't really want to expose the red to either the peroxide or or the, the light to get rid of the, the typical foxing. If you know what foxing is, a little tiny mold gross, the typical, like a light tan circular pattern. And this had uh, quite a bit of it. So I wanted to make, I made a mask of, with cardstock paper. So I went in uh, to Adobe Illustrator, traced with the pen tool, the, the white areas, and then I laser cut a mask out and then I did the, the treatment in, and I'll show you quickly just in that title area, the difference between the before and after, and I'll show you what I did for this. If, if people like this mask, I can make and sell them, of course, if there's any interest. Otherwise, I'll just keep it in my own personal library. So if you want to, if you would like one or you want me to post it on the, on our shop at Immaculate Comics, please, you know, make a little comment below and I'll, I'll go ahead and do that if there's interest, because I have several dozen that are probably of no interest to anyone would ever want them except for me. So I only put them if, if there's a request or a need. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye. Let's take an initial tour of the book. We can see the foxing here presented as sort of a brownish circles. You can see them in many areas. Let's see his, his body. They're most obvious here because you look at him first. It's going to be difficult anywhere there's red next to white. There's not so much down here, but we don't want any, any of this red exposed. We want to get as much of the white exposed as possible. This dialogue bubble and the other one is purple, so we don't expect too much bleaching or here either, so we're not going to be so careful right there, but really up here, there's, there's a lot of foxing and it's red next to white. After drawing this in Adobe Illustrator, I can laser cut out this mask and here's what the process looks like. You can see how that works here. And here's the mask when we're done. There are some small pieces that go in the middle of the R and his legs, but this is essentially what it looks like. Now I've got the book down on a big piece of plastic. I'm going to mist it with 6% peroxide. I do sell the misting bottles in my store as well. And then I will put it in an immaculite, 435 nanometers. And the, the time ended up being just under two hours, like an hour and 50 minutes. So I'm just misting it with 6% right here, just from a distance. I got a nut there weighing it down. So I just place the light, the box over the book, turn the light on, put the light down, and then I just wait. Just start the stopwatch and then we're all done. Here we are a little later. I you can see it's not perfect, but it looks better. I forgot to cut out his legs between the middle, so I had to put a little piece of blue tape over that red area between his legs. Here's what it looks like. Those are those little pieces that, I, that weren't connected to the rest. And here's what it looks like now. Better, I think. Not perfect, but better. I just need to press it. And because it's a square bound book, I use a square bound protector to keep from crushing the spine and give it a press. This is just a light press. I'm only going to go about 50 pounds on this one for 600 seconds and it should, it should make it look nice. It'll look good. All right. So we're all done. I remove the book and we'll just take a look at it under the light. You can still see some foxing in the areas I didn't treat naturally. But overall, I think the curb appeal, the slab appeal of the book is, you know, greatly improved over, over what it was previously. And let's do some before and after pictures too. Here are the initial and final images. You can make your own decision if you like it or not. I, the owner knows that he will probably get a purple label if he turns this in, although it's not obvious, very obvious at all by looking at it that it was treated. It's got good slab appeal. I, I really like the book. And I hope you do too. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, if you have a mask that you have an idea for and you want to send me a, a PDF scan or, a, you know, of the book you want, I can I'll happily uh, make one, cut it out for you. It's it's a fun technique. It's a, it's a good workable technique, but it's not perfect. Of course, light gets around the edges, peroxide migrates, things like that. But it's the best you can do if you have a lot of reds and yellows, a lot of whites that need to be treated for foxing on an old book like that. I'll be um, I'll be in Germany next couple of weeks. So any of my friends in the Bavarian area in South Central Germany, Baden-Württemberg, 
or Geislingen, those, those areas near Munich, um, give me a shout out. I'd like to, uh, to say hello to you. All right. Uh, take care, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.